Chief Lee. Chief Lee is going to join us at the microphone and uh, present an officer to us that uh, it's, I think, an uh, unfortunate circumstance that he's retiring, but uh, we can also certainly congratulate him as well. Um, you know, all too often we, we, we have these great um, opportunities in Hopkinton to celebrate our first responders and the wonderful work they do. Uh, elsewhere in the country, we always talk about first responders and the very difficult circumstances they face it seems day in and day out now. Um, so let's keep them in our thoughts as we continue with what we, is a great celebration here this evening. Uh, Mr. Chairman, before I call up uh, Officer Griffin, if I could just expound on your, some of your comments. Absolutely. Uh, uh, obviously it was a tough week for law enforcement and uh, actually a tough week for everybody in this country. But uh, I just wanted to thank the local community for their outreach, uh, their overwhelming support. Uh, it's, it's been a unbelievable. I mean, we have a great working relationship, the police department yeah. and community. You know, it's a, it's a relationship built upon uh, trust. And uh, we work well together in a collaborative effort. And uh, our, low, our low crime stats yeah, prove that. But this week has been, as I said, overwhelming with the amount of gifts that come, came to the police uh, station, cards, people showing up, a lot of food at the station. and. Uh, it comes as a surprise to you, but I'm a big fan of food. <laughs> you know, it's, it's I have no comment, Chief Lee. <laughs> <laughs> but what is even uh, better than food, not much, but is when a citizen comes up to you, and I've had the opportunity several times this week where people just come up to you and shake your hand and say thank you for you and your department, and thanks for keeping us uh, safe. And most of all, we appreciate what you do. And I'm sure all the men and women of the department would agree with that. That is, it's just, it's a wonderful thing, and it's heartfelt, and it doesn't get much better than that in this business. Uh, with that said, I'd like to call up uh, Officer Tom Griffin, his wife, Chris, if you'd like to come up as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked. I can't argue with her. No. Well, uh, first I'd like to point out that Tom has done 40 years of service to the town, two years as a firefighter, until he smartened up and joined the blue team. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to recognize Chris as well because she's done 38 years of a police officer's wife, and that's no easy job. Just ask my wife, although there's probably other reasons why my wife would say that. <laughs> but um, uh, so Tom has worked several decades, and he is the one of the most dedicated police officers I ever met. As a matter of fact, he doesn't want to leave, he has to leave because of his age. I won't mention that, but people <laughs> But the, the, he's one of a kind. When I first got on, he, uh, he was you know, a great help to me. He was like my FTO, when I, uh, which he is an FTO field training officer. And he drove me around town. He told me the history of the whole town, and he knew it all. I mean, he's seen it all in police work. He's seen over the decades the changing, the several different programs, how Law enforcement has re reacted to different things, so I'm sure there's not a story, and he has a lot of stories, <laughs> good ones too, that he could expound upon. But um, one th thing is, is the amount of extra things he does for the police department, and uh, he's going to be impossible to replace. Well, we're doing our best, but we have at least five officers stepping up to take on some of the responsibilities that he handled on his own. Let me just uh, mentioned a few of them. As I mentioned before, an FTO uh, field training officer, and he's done that for uh, several years. Uh, he took the uh, responsibility of being the liaison for the regional jail diversion program that we currently have in town, and uh, he's done an outstanding job with this, and uh, worked with our mental health advocate and uh, other towns, along with the uh, uh, Department of Mental Health, and they have nothing but high praise for him. While he was doing that, he also wanted to take the initiative on the Narcan program, and we brought that to town. And Tom was responsible for all the training, training all the officers on uh, how to use Narcan, uh, supplying all the vehicles with Narcan, and uh, because of it, he's, he's in, uh, saved lives. Um, 
He also takes on a, a, a other opportunities such as a business license inspector, doing that for several years, making sure like limousine services are in compliance. He's done an outstanding job with that. Fleet maintenance. If it wasn't for Tom, we'd be in rough shape, and we might be in rough shape if uh, Peter doesn't work out. But he keeps our cars, <laughs> he keeps our cars on the road rolling, and it is just an, it's such an important position that that, that he has been uh, doing over the years. He is a part of a regional crisis intervention team. Basically, when uh, uh, offices uh, confronted with traumatic situations, he's part of that team. He's been trained. He also represents our police department if there were a crisis uh, situation, a traumatic uh, officer valve shooting, anything like that. Tom is trained to go out there and uh, help and support those officers and get them through that. So, uh, it just, I, I mean, I could go on the amount of duties, but we don't have a, <laughs> enough time. But let me say a little bit about Tom. He is, uh, let me just say, they broke the mold when they made something like this. He's, he's one tough guy. As a matter of fact, last year, uh, Tom was complaining about a shoulder pain, but you know, still showed up every day for work. You know, obviously he was showing some discomfort, and then finally, when he was egged enough to go to the doctors, he came back with a note, very disappointed. I'm gonna have to miss a few days. Uh, next few days, I broke my shoulder. <laughs> so that's what kind of commitment and toughness he is. Actually, about a month ago, Tom and I responded to an emergent situation, and uh, we had to gain access to the house. And next thing you know. I see a flash go by me, smashing through the door, and <laughs> busts <his> Tom. <laughs> but uh, you know, he's just the—he uh, has a—he's an, uh, an incredible police officer, and like I say, 38 years. What can you say about that? Unbelievable. Also, a fierce uh, uh, negotiator for the union. You can normally can testify to that. <laughs> but we're certainly going to miss him. Uh, we're glad that he's going to stick around as a special so we can still go to him for some advice and, uh, and uh, just to see your face around. And uh, we're going to miss him. I'm going to miss you guys. I won't be gone. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Um, thank you, everybody that's here. Didn't write a speech. Uh, I'm just gonna say a few words from the heart and I'll make it quick. Uh, it's, it's been a great career. I've worked with the best people in the world, the best people in the business. I believe that um, we're the best department around and you hear that from other departments too. It's been a pleasure to work with everybody on the department, within the boards. And I just wanna thank everybody for giving me the opportunity to do that and for the whole town for putting their trust in me to do this job for all these years. Thank you. Okay, uh, next up, Chief Lee, item number two uh, on your mini agenda here is you would like the Board of Selectmen to consider approving uh, Tom Griffin to be a special officer. Is that correct? That is correct. It would be a privilege to have him still out there in a uh, uniform capacity tra directing traffic. Okay. The chair will entertain a motion to support Chief Lee's request that Officer Griffin be appointed a special officer in the town of Hockington. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Does he have a resume we could look Any at? Any debate on his merits? <laughs> Any debate on his merits? <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? It's unanimous and so carries. Okay. 